as you age, your brain function goes down. And you I know will... that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Yeah. <laughs> a new report out today examines how aging affects your attention, thinking, and decision making. It also recommends steps you can take to reduce your risk of decline. Dr. Tara Narula, CBS News medical contributor, is here to walk us, walk me through those things. I am uh, in this category, aging rapidly. And uh, everybody knows that my brain function is down. So the changes that are outlined in this study, Dr. Tara, right. what are they? So we're really at the frontier of beginning to understand how aging affects the brain. And what the Institute of Medicine did is publish a report that looks at cognitive aging. And it looks at it through a broad lens and how, in terms of how it affects society, the individual, and the family. We know that aging can, in terms of the brain, can be affected by genetic factors, lifestyle, and environmental factors. And for some people, they can age with relatively little cognitive decline. And with other people, it seems much more market. Um, but we know it's a very emotional issue for people. I mean, everybody wants to remain clear and sharp and make thoughtful decisions as we get older. Mm. But according to the study, there are things people can do. In fact, there are three top actions that right. people can take to preserve that cognitive function. What are those? That's right. So the Institute of Medicine outlined these three things. One is staying physically active. The second is controlling your cardiovascular risk factors like diabetes, high blood pressure, and smoking. And the third is really making it a priority to talk to your healthcare practitioner about your particular cognitive, where your cognitive health is, what medications you might be taking, and other health problems that might affect your cognitive abilities. So really making it a priority to discuss it with your doctor. Uh, Dr. Tara, it's like, I looked at this report, and one of the things I found striking, this is subject, subjective, but it seems to me the older you get, if you stay active mentally and mm -hmm. physically, mm -hmm. that seems to extend... In other words, I've seen people who retire mm -hmm. and they sit on a porch and then they're dead within five years. And I've seen people work until they're in their 90s, right. going to the office, even if it's just an hour a day. Right. So one of the other things that the report recommended is staying socially active and intellectually active and continuing to learn as we get older. Um, another thing that they recommended is getting adequate sleep. Uh, and also really doing education in terms of programs that are recommended or vitamins or supplements and which really might be beneficial and which aren't. And what about things like crossword puzzles and book clubs, mm -hmm. playing music? What effect do those things have? Right. There's a lot of controversy around that and whether they really work. We know that it seems like they work in terms of helping you do those specific trained abilities. So by practicing a musical instrument, you can get better at that. By doing crossword puzzles, you can get better at that. But whether that translates into real-life tasks and improvement of those things, we really don't know. The medical literature doesn't support it at this point. One of the things in the report that you just mentioned is sleep. How important is sleep play? I mean, sleep plays a big role in our everyday health and our cardiovascular health. And, and for as our cognitive effects and aging, it certainly plays a role as well. So it's very, very important to get that seven to eight hours of sleep that we always recommend. Okay. Hear that, our bosses? <laughs> seven to eight hours of sleep before we start to age. <laughs> Dr. Tara Narula, thank you so much. Thank you.